When individuals are concerned about their career pathway and plan, they analyze their strengths and weaknesses and then work hard to better their abilities. It also entailed studying other professions and sectors to find one that matched their skills, looking for possibilities to grow, and maybe changing occupations completely if they found a more fit one. This lesson explores career pathways specifically external factors affecting career choices, career options, and career plans. Before exploring the lesson, let us familiarize ourselves with the following learning competencies. 1. Discuss the external factors influencing career choices that may help make career decisions. 2. Identify the pros and cons of various career options with the guidance of a parent, teacher, or counselor. 3. Prepare a career plan based on his or her personal goal and external factors influencing career choices. From the learning competencies presented earlier, we have the following guide questions that will facilitate understanding of the significant concepts about the lesson. These are, 1. What are the external factors that may greatly influence your career choices? How will you deal with the negative impact of these external factors to your career choices? 2. What are the career clusters? How do these career clusters help in choosing career paths? 3. Why is a career plan significant? What are the basic steps in formulating a career plan? Take note of these questions. They will be posted on each concern topic for you to answer after the discussion of the topic. We presented the learning competencies and the guide questions. We are now ready to discuss the external factors that affect career choices. Not to withstand the great impact of external factors affecting career choices and career pathways among students. A student's career choice is an essential stage in his or her life. It has an impact on a variety of decisions he or she makes dependent on their employment choices. The choice of a course, a university, an institution, a corporation, and a work description is determined by the professional path chosen. Career planning is not a decision or strategy that concludes with the selection of a suitable institution or college. It will persist till we locate a suitable job and have a gratifying work profile. Most students base their professional choice on their previous best performance and other external elements that make their career selection appear unreasonable. Here are the most prevalent variables that impact the student's choice of profession, which frequently prevent them from making the best decision. 1. Parental pressure. Choosing a career only to meet the expectations of one's parents is the most common early mistake made by students, which they subsequently regret. The majority of students from business families are required to take business courses. Some who resist given to parental pressure, resulting in an unsatisfactory career graph. Such influences, disguised as complying with their guardian's wishes, are deemed detrimental to kids in the long term. You may consider the advice of your parents when choosing your career path, but in the end, you have the last say on the career you want to follow or else you will be dragging yourself into doing things you never intended to do. 2. Peer Pressure This is the simplest approach to avoid making decisions for oneself. The majority of students prefer to follow the throng to their goal. Follow your friends is the most popular exercise seen while choosing a university or college. The majority decision is regarded as the greatest option. This approach has increased the number of students who fail to excel in their careers and instead settle for poor results. You must constantly remember that your friends or the majority's decision are not always your choice. You must recognize that your friends' professional paths are frequently not your career paths since your buddy is fundamentally different from you. Take the initiative to make your own decision. 3. Performance Exam this approach of establishing one's interest field based on single exam performance is the most unreasonable and erroneous basis for judging one's performance and interest area, and it has frequently resulted in a bad career selection. After finishing school, most people choose a career path based on their past best achievements. If a student achieves a 90 percentile in math or science, 
he or she aspires to be an engineer or doctor. Students with a low percentile in science, math, or English are considered non-performers or below average students. Similarly, few people succeed only by rote learning. There is no sense of self-interest. This is the first mistake that might lead them astray. You as a student who is trying to plan a career, should not be influenced by the result of a one-time performance exam. You need to realize your interests, reflect on these, then consider them in your career plans. 4. Placement. We wish to choose a profession that can provide our bread and butter. Placement opportunities in a particular university are thus considered the most important factor for the students when they harp about their career choice. Good placement options are an important motivation driver for students in their career planning. 5. Financial problem. This is the most fundamental characteristic of most people who want to establish a career. Some people are unfortunate to lack the financial resources to follow their dream careers. Only those who can afford it can acquire the best training, expertise, and chances. Most students disregard their interests in favor of pursuing a financially rewarding job. When faced with a financial challenge that prevents you from pursuing your ideal profession, you can choose what is realistic and reasonable for the time being or seek realistic means to fund your chosen career. These external influences can have a significant impact on your job selection but keep in mind that your career decision is your accountability, so pick wisely for your self-actualization. What matters most is that you choose a decent and clear job option that will make you happy and fulfilled. Moving on with our lesson is the discussion of the topic on career options. In this topic, career options will be presented in career clusters. Having explored the external factors affecting choices, the next step that you may do is to have an overview of career options that you may consider taking. Choosing the right career path requires consideration of your abilities, educational background, and hobbies. Knowing the 16 career clusters might help you find the best path for you, guiding you from your schooling to retirement. In this topic, We'll define and examine the 16 career clusters as your career options. Cluster 1. Agriculture, Food, and Natural Resources. Everything connected to the production of agricultural products is included in the Agriculture, Food, and Natural Resources cluster. Farmers, ranchers, biologists, engineers, and veterinarians are all included. Some agriculture, food, and natural resources career paths may need a bachelor's degree in their respective profession, but others train workers through on-the-job experience. Because the job environment is largely outside, most employees in this area like being outside. Cluster 2. Architecture and Construction People working in the architecture and construction cluster design, build and maintain houses, industrial buildings, roadways, and bridges. As the positions range from carpenter assistant to safety engineer, so do the educational requirements. Most skilled craftsmen, such as carpenters and plumbers, receive their training immediately on the job. People who work in this area have great arithmetic skills and a passion for design, home renovation, and aesthetics. A typical work setting might be an office or your clients' homes or companies. Cluster 3 arts, audiovisual technology, and communications. For creative persons, the arts, AV technology, and communications cluster may be the greatest career cluster. It comprises journalists, actors, dancers, singers, radio announcers, and backstage personnel. If you want to be an actor, you might consider studying cinema and media arts or theater and drama. There are also specific certificate programs available to help you become a sound engineer or a telecommunications technician. The workplace might be a film, television, recording studio, or theater. The majority of persons who work in this cluster have a genuine interest in music, dance, movies, or fashion. Cluster 4. Business, Management, and Administration. Business analysts, accountants, human resource experts, and managers, as well as numerous entry-level occupations such as receptionists, 
secretaries, and typists, are all part of the business, management, and administration cluster. A bachelor's degree is required for the majority of employment in business, management, and administration, and some accounting professions may additionally require the certified public accountant license. The normal work setting is an office, and many professions demand direct client contact. Individuals interested in this profession cluster often have great communication abilities as well as business savvy. Cluster 5. Education and Training The education and training profession cluster comprises positions such as teacher, tutor, and instructor, counselors, school psychologists, and speech-language pathologists are also employed in this field to provide support and direction to pupils. Elementary and secondary school teachers must have a bachelor's degree as well as a license, whereas college professors must have an advanced degree. A typical workplace is a school or college. People with great leadership qualities or who desire to be role models for younger people may be interested in this career cluster. If you want to work in this industry, you should be passionate about the subject you'll be teaching. Cluster 6. Finance. Auditor, financial analyst, treasurer, economist, bank worker, debt counselor, or insurance expert are all jobs in the finance cluster. A bachelor's degree or specialist certifications are required for many professions in the finance career cluster. Obtaining a certified public accountant or certified internal auditor license, for example, may be beneficial for specific positions. An office, an accounting studio, or a tax collection agency are common work environments. Workers in this profession often have good arithmetic abilities as well as the ability to explain complex topics to consumers who do not work in the industry. Cluster 7. Hospitality and Tourism Job opportunities in the hospitality and tourism cluster include positions in restaurants, bars, tourist attractions, resorts, hotels, and travel agencies. Most entry-level employment requires simply a high school diploma or equivalent. Some higher-level positions, such as tour guide or travel agent, may need a bachelor's degree and knowledge of multiple languages. A typical work setting might range from a restaurant kitchen to a ticket office, hotel desk, or airport. People who enjoy eating and don't mind standing for long periods may be interested in careers in pubs and restaurants. Tourist attraction careers are ideal for well-educated individuals with a love of culture, the arts, and travel. Cluster 8. Human Services Human services employment options include not just psychologists, social workers, and child advocate specialists, but also hairdressers, manicurists, and cosmetologists. A bachelor's degree and a license are required for professional paths in counseling and mental health. Beauty and wellness professionals demand specific training. A person who wishes to become a cosmetologist, for example, might take a specialized college course followed by an apprenticeship at a beauty salon. The workplace might be a hospital, a spa, or a beauty salon. Workers in this cluster often exhibit excellent interpersonal and listening skills, as well as patience and empathy for others. Cluster 9. Information Technology The Information Technology Cluster is for prospective programmers, web designers, network administrators, and computer support technicians, computer science professors, computer forensic professionals, and information security analysts are other jobs in this cluster. Many of these occupations need degrees or industry credentials, such as AWS Certified Developer or Microsoft Certified Solutions Expert. People working in this profession typically require ongoing training since technology advances at a rapid rate. The usual working setting is an office. People who enjoy the Internet may be interested in a job in information technology, which includes aiding with web navigation and resolving security concern. Cluster 10. Law, Public Safety, Corrections, and Security. Citizens are protected by workers in the law, public safety, corrections, and security cluster. They are cops, security guards, lawyers paralegals, and investigation agents. 
Attorneys must first get a bachelor's degree, then finish law school before taking the final bar test. A police officer must pass the exam for police and complete their police training before becoming a cop. Workplaces can include a jail, court, or police station, as well as public spaces where people must be safeguarded. People who are fearless and have a strong desire to defend others may be interested in careers in law, public safety, corrections, and security. Cluster 11. Manufacturing. Equipment operators, millwrights, assemblers, and warehousing employees can all benefit from working in the manufacturing cluster. These positions often require simply on-the-job training, while some paths may necessitate a bachelor's degree. For example, some personnel oversee factory safety, while others examine the quality of products and services. An industrial unit is a typical work setting. Some professionals, however, can work directly at their clients' homes to repair household equipment. People with good manual abilities and a passion for DIY projects may find a job in manufacturing appealing. Cluster 12. Marketing, Sales, and Service. Salespeople, telemarketers, real estate agents, customer service representatives, market research analysts, and marketing managers are all part of the marketing, sales, and service cluster. Even if a degree in marketing is not necessary, it might be advantageous. People interested in working in online marketing should also obtain the Google Analytics Individual Qualification, Google Ad Certification, and Facebook Blueprint Certification. The working environment might be an office, a retail store, or the customer's home. Those with strong communication abilities may be interested in a career in this industry. Cluster 13. Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics. Some of the most educated workers in this field are biologists, engineers, mathematicians, statisticians, chemists, and geoscientists. A bachelor's degree in an applicable discipline is required for all jobs, and professional engineers must additionally get a state license. A laboratory, an industrial facility, or a weather station might be the workplace. People that are interested in this profession cluster are typically interested in science, math, or geography and are eager to continue their education and training. Cluster 14. Government and Public Administration. People who assist enforce the law are included in the government and public administration cluster. Tax collectors, municipal clerks, military personnel, and customs brokers are among them. Postal clerks, mail couriers, and air crew personnel are also included in this group. Some occupations need a bachelor's degree, and judges and magistrates must have an advanced degree. You might also obtain a municipal clerk certification, a tax assessor certification, or a customs broker license, depending on the vocation you wish to pursue. The typical work setting is a municipal office or a customs agency. People with strong communication skills or an interest in politics may be interested in a career in this cluster. Cluster 15. Health Science. Doctors, Nurses pharmacists, paramedics, and healthcare operators are all part of the health science cluster. All professions in health science need specialized training. Nurses must attend nursing school and obtain a license, whereas physicians must complete additional educational requirements, such as obtaining a medical degree. EMTs are required to complete EMT training and get national or state certification. Opticians must also get a state license. The workplace might be a hospital, a private clinic, a drugstore retail chain, or the patient's residences. People that are interested in this cluster, Cluster 16, Transportation, Distribution, and Logistics. The Transit, Distribution, and Logistics cluster either drives and repairs vehicles or works behind the scenes to ensure that public transportation is always efficient. Drivers, pilots, train car repairers, Parking lot attendants, civil engineers, and transportation planners are among them. Pilots, railway operators, and truck drivers must be licensed, whereas engineers must have a master's degree. 
Specialized accreditation is not necessary but can be highly beneficial for train car repairers. The workplace might be a car repair shop, a train, a bus, or an office. Careers in this cluster may be appealing to those who enjoy driving or repairing automobiles. The importance of career clusters is that they allow you to easily explore several types of careers under one broad category. Identifying with a cluster can assist you in developing your career and selecting credentials such as a college degree, specialist training, or certifications that will qualify you for several diverse but related professions. Having explored personal elements affecting career choices, the background on career options, and the result of the career aptitude test will help a lot in making a career plan. In this part of the lesson we will be discussing the basic steps in making a career plan. A concise, precise career plan is one of the most effective tools for determining where you are, where you want to go, and how to get there. Here are some key steps to assist you in developing your career plan. Step 1. Assess yourself. In your career plan, consider addressing the following core questions about your personality, interests, and values. What inspires me and what do I like doing? What are my characteristics and lifestyle preferences? What are my family and friends' opinions on my strengths and weaknesses? What are the most important qualities I'm searching for in a job? Step 2. Analyze your skills. In addition to your preferences, your current abilities are a significant indicator of the course you might go to. Consider the following questions about your skill set. What qualifications and experience do I have? What are my core talents, transferable skills, and unique abilities? What are my most notable accomplishments to date? What are my flaws and areas for improvement? Step 3. Set your direction. Based on your interests, characteristics, talents, and experience, you may now begin to develop ideas for the kind of roles industries that will best suit you. As part of your career plan, consider discussing the following topics, the broad industries that genuinely appeal to you, the sorts of employment that would fit you best, and how these alternatives reflect your personal preferences and critical talents that may require improvement. Step 4. Commit yourself to a time frame. Now that you know where you want to go, it's time to figure out how to get there. To help you break down your professional objectives into smaller, more attainable milestones, ask yourself the following questions. What do I want to achieve in the next 6, 12, or 18 months? When and how will I complete my training and education objectives? How and when will I acquire the necessary extra skills and experience? When and how can I grow my network? Step 5. Review your career plan. Having established your goals and how to achieve them, you will now have a clear pathway on which to head. It is critical to track the development of your career plan at least once every six months to verify that you are on track to reach your objectives. Reassessing your professional strategy and goals allows you to make changes in response to changing economic and personal conditions. Indeed a career plan makes sense because it will give you a clear picture of the goals and actions that you will need to do to fulfill your dream career. To facilitate the making of a career plan there are common and basic steps that can be followed. This lesson on career pathways conceives the following key points. Key point 1. External influences such as parental pressure, peer pressure, performance exams, placement and financial problems frequently mislead you in choosing the right career for you however, keep in mind that your career decision is your accountability therefore, choose wisely the career that will help you achieve self-actualization. Key point 2. Exploring the career clusters will provide you with an overview of the many career alternatives available to you, allowing you to select the best career for you. Key point 3. A career plan provides a clear picture of the goals and actions you will need to take to achieve your desired career.